one is that I want to believe that you you can hear me well, and uh, right away we're going to start on where we left, and today we're going to look at the wiring system. Wiring system. So under that we're going to discuss what affects wiring system and what affects the choice of wiring system and uh, various uh, types of wiring system. So we must start with the uh, definition. We are going to define what is uh, electrical wiring. I know we had uh, covered uh, the practical aspect of it in class, but we might need to, uh, to review for the sake of those guys who are not uh, were not present. So, as you can see in the whiteboard, uh, electrical wiring is the electrical uh, power distribution through the wires in a perfect manner for economic use of wiring conductors. I repeat that uh, electrical wiring is the electrical power distribution through the wires in a perfect manner for economic use of wiring conductors inside a room or a building with uh, better load control. Then we're going to, to categorize these wiring systems into five categories. We're going to have five categories of the wiring systems. We're going to categorize them into five categories. The first one is the cleat wiring system. The cleat wiring system. Two is the casing wiring. Casing wiring. Three is um, button wiring. Button wiring. is the conduit wiring. The conduit you come to realize that we can categorize conduits into um, two major categories. So that is the the PVC of the plastic and also you can have uh, the metal conduits. Metal conduits are mostly used or applicable in, uh, in uh, heavy industries where you need to protect your wiring system from uh, physical damage. So that is where we come to realize that we use uh, metal wiring. And for the other cases, we use uh, PVC wiring, PVC uh, wiring system, the PVC conduits. Then uh, the other category that you're going to look at is the concealed wiring. Concealed wiring, as the name suggests, uh, this type of, in this type of wiring, you'll have your wiring uh, concealed under the surface or inside the walls. So those are the five major categories of the wiring systems. We have said cleat, casing, button, conduit, and uh, concealed. So we might need to start with the cleat wiring. Cleat wiring. So the cleat wiring system uh, in this type of system, we have uh, different types of uh, insulated wires that can be applied. And uh, the first type is the VIR. VIR, we say it means uh, vulcanized Indian rubber or the PVC insulated wires. We can have VIR type or the PVC. Um, the other type is the weatherproof cables, weatherproof cables. Then number three, we have the porcelain cleats, porcelain cleats, or you can call them the plastic cleats. And in this case, for the plastic uh, cleats, they have two or three grooves. Then uh, the other material that we use under cleat wiring is the screws. So with the screws, you know you have the screwdrivers also. So 
so there they are so said uh, BIR see all the, the CDC wires as one of the materials and we have the weatherproof cables the porcelain cleats and the plastic cleats and also the screws um, we have uh, different types of uh, cleats you can have a cleat with two grooves that is it's able to accommodate two uh, two two insulated wires that uh, that are running through it so that is uh, a cleat with two grooves or we can have uh, for the two grooves we just have the live and the neutral wires running through and then have the other one that is the cleat with three grooves so for that one it accommodates all the three wire all the three basic wires uh, or the ba three basic conductors that are usually associated with installation live neutral and the adding cable so we can have two or three grooves so we have the procedure how we go about uh, the split wiring so for this one uh, in this type of wiring the v we are said to use either VIR or PVC uh, wires so those wires are braided and uh, compounded on walls or ceiling with the help of uh, porcelain cleats then the wires we said they can uh, be weatherproof so that they're able to withstand harsh weather conditions and the simple uh, wire laying is done in this scheme of wiring and nowadays this kind of wiring scheme is not recommended for house or building and uh, only in uh, temporary installations which uh, can maybe the when you're having some festivals and you need to do a, a little bit of wiring then is then you, then that's when you use this type of uh, wiring system the cleat it's not uh, advisable because it's not uh, neat we're going to to see those advantages and disadvantages of this type of wiring system and we've said uh, it's uh, normally uh, used in uh, temporary uh, installations so let us look at uh, those advantages of this type of wiring systems advantages the first advantage of the cleat wiring system is that it is cheap because you just need those cleats cheap and it is easy to install number one cheap and easy to install number two that point is uh, not uh, hard to understand they are easy and uh, cheap to install because you just need the uh, the cleat and the screws so then you have your the the whole wiring system running number two the another advantage is that uh, uh, when it comes to fault detection then it is easy to detect those faults because you can be able to see wires easy uh, fault detection you can remove these two Easy to detect faults because uh, the, the, the conductors are not concealed therefore you can be able if you have some faults in your installation you can be able to even uh, physically and manually be able to inspect and detect the faults number three they are easy so if they are able, they are easy to detect faults therefore definitely another advantage is that they are easy to repair so uh, the repair is easy you can be able to repair them easily and uh, the last advantage that we can look at is that uh, alteration and addition is easy as compared to uh, maybe the concealed type. Alteration and addition is easy. What do we mean by that? What we mean is that uh, for this type of wiring system, you can be able to alter your uh, the wiring system that you have and may make some adjustment that means that you're able to uh, maybe you, are, you want to add some more loads to 
to your installation system, you can be able to do that because uh, the, the, in this type of running system, uh, we say that it is, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's done on the surface. Therefore, just uh, an, an alteration or an addition of uh, some, some more loads, it's easier because you just need to just uh, make a joint. We've discussed how to do joints. So you just need to do a joint and then you'll be able to draw some power and connect the load. The other thing that you're going to look at is the disadvantages of this uh, type of wiring system, disadvantages of grid wiring. The disadvantages, the first one, so we said, uh, we said that they are done on the surface and you know when you have wires running on the surface, uh, they don't give the best appearance. So that is one disadvantage don't have the best of the appearances so they have bad appearance number two number two is that uh, they are exposed to weather and they can be affected by humidity uh, rain smoke sunlight etc so since the the installation is on the surface therefore the this type of installation this type of wiring system is prone to uh, to be subjected to harsh weather conditions that uh, that that is like uh, the smoke or the sunlight and that means if you expose your cables to sunlight then in a number, uh, they won't last for long that is the disadvantage number two they're exposed to weather and they can be affected by uh, uh, harsh weather conditions such as the humidity smoke ETC. The other disadvantage uh, in this type of uh, the crit wiring system, the, sh the chances for shock or fire, they are more. What do we mean by that? We have said the installation is done on the surface. Therefore, when uh, when you expose your install, uh, when there is that, uh, the, the, the wiring system is subjected to, to shock. So that, that means that uh, people who are not uh, electrical retreat, uh, they, can be, they can interfere with your installation, with your wiring system, and that uh, they may be shocked, and they, that may cause fire, and fire may destroy your installation or your whole uh, building. Another disadvantage, that uh, this type of wiring system is limited. You can only, it's only applied in uh, low voltages. What do you mean by low voltages? You cannot use uh, the three phase, that is the 415 volts and uh, above with this type of installation. So just use the, the maximum that it can handle is two, 240 in Kenya, that is the single phase, or 220 that is in UK. The, the, the single phase in UK runs at 220. So you can just use the low, uh, low voltages, and that comes with the, the low ambient temperature. Then disadvantage number next that um, they are not long lasting. Type of installation, they are not long lasting. What do you mean by that? Uh, we have done, we have said they are used for temporary installations. So therefore, your cables, they can just uh, last just for a short while. Dismantle the whole wiring system. Then the last one, the last disadvantage is that uh, in this type of wiring system, they are prone to, your wires are prone to sagging. What do you mean by that? Because the wires will be installed on the surface, then they can, uh, they will not be concealed as in the case for the conduit. Therefore, they will be prone to sagging. You know what is sagging? That is, uh, your wires, they look, uh, they're not as uh, straight. They, are, they sag a little bit. That's what we mean by sagging. So you can see the disadvantages, they, are, they outweigh the advantages. And that's why we say this type of installation is not 
common in modern uh, in modern engineering therefore uh, it, has, it has been phased out with time or it's just applied in temporary solutions whereby you just use it for a few days and then you dismantle your whole systems they cannot be applied in high voltages as i said they have bad appearances and they are prone to shock and fire then the other type of uh, wiring, uh, wiring system that you're going to discuss is the KC. Wiring system. In, in case you have a question, you can uh, put it down in the public chat, I'll be able to see. Let us continue. Let us talk about the casing. Uh, we start off with the materials. What are the materials that are used in this uh, type of wiring system? The materials used they include one. So you have the wires. These wires we just like in the cleat wiring system. They can be either PVC or the vulcanized Indian rubber type of wires. So PVC or the VIR insulated wires. Then we have the enclosures. So these casing enclosures, they may be made of uh, wood or plastic. Then we have the capping also can be made of wood. Uh, that is in, in uh, earlier days, but nowadays most of the time we find that the capping is done by use of plastic. So made of wood for the capping or plastic. Then we have the casing and capping joints. So those are the major materials that are used in this type of uh, wiring system. I want to believe that you're noting them down because uh, for this, I might not be able to upload all the notes. The wires, the casing enclosures, capping, and the joints. Then uh, let us go to the procedure of the casing wiring. How do you do casing wiring? Yeah, of this type of wiring. So this kind of wiring is a, is a bit old fashioned and uh, most of the time PVC or the VIR wires are carried through the, these casing enclosures and capping is used to cover the casing. So you just have the uh, you just have those casing, the cases which I've said they can be made of plastic or wood. Then you have your wires which are either the PVC or the VIR, and then you have the the capping to cover the case, and then you have uh, your loads at either ends of the of these casings. So that is that's generally how to do it. They are just simple and direct. You just have your cases. Then you have the conductors inside, and then you the capping to cover the casing. Next, we discuss the advantages of the casing type of wiring. The advantages. advantages of uh, casing wiring one is that it is cheap and easy to install just like in the case for crate this one too is easy and cheap to install because you just need the casing and the capping and then you have your conductors inside so that is advantage number one cheap and easy and these are the common questions in your exams eh? if you look at the uh, past next papers you'll see most of the time when it comes to wiring system, we'll be told to maybe describe the type of wiring system and its advantages. 
So you first need to understand the type of wiring system, know how it is done. Like for this case, our casing wiring system, we said you just need to have the, the, the conductors running inside the cases and then you have the capping to cover the, conductor, the, the whole case. So with that in mind, you are able to describe the, the advantages and disadvantages of this type of wiring system because once you internalize it, you don't need necessarily to cram. So advantage number one is said cheap and easy to install. Number two is that they are strong and uh, durable. Though this may be subject to discussion, you compare with others, it will be so this one will depend with the exact, uh, what are you necessarily discussing? Uh, which, uh, which type of wiring system are you uh, comparing it to? So if uh, for, for our case here, uh, we are just descri describing the this type of wiring system by itself. So that point is uh, um, it's valid that is it is strong and durable wiring system. But when you compare with other type of wiring system, for example the metal conduits, you can't necessarily say for the casing wiring system that uh, they are they are strong and durable when you compare them with the conduit. That is especially the metal conduit. But if you are describing it them by themselves, then that point is uh, valid. Number three is that optimization can easily be done. Just like the crate wiring system, you can customize and alter your installation to suit your, the preference to suit your needs. So customization can be done. Number four is that this type of wiring system, uh, you know, for this one, you have said you cover your conductors. So your conductors are not exposed to harsh weather conditions as the case for the crate wiring system. So for this one, in uh, if you remember, in uh, when we were talking, uh, we were discussing the disadvantages of crate wiring system. We said that they are subject to harsh weather conditions. That's uh, that's the, such as uh, humidity, uh, smoke, uh, rain, and so on. For this one, we have said the the conductors are are laid in the cases. Therefore, as an advantage, you can say that the conductors are safe from smoke, uh, dust, rain steam etc so your conductors are not subjected to harsh weather conditions and uh, this uh, this one the last uh, uh, advantage uh, you, what you note here most of these advantages are the disadvantages for the crate wiring system and uh, the last ad advantage here is that uh, we say that due to casing and cap and the capping then there is no that risk of uh, shock and therefore the risk of so of uh, fire is also minimized because there is that covering of the conductors so there is no risk of uh, shock and uh, fire uh, briefly let us look at the disadvantages of uh, this type of wiring system advantages of the casing wiring system. One is that uh, as compared to cleat wiring system, this one is a bit uh, expensive. You can say it's uh, expensive. Costly. Number two. Number two, they're not suitable to weather with high humidity and uh, strong acidic conditions. What do you mean by that? Uh, I'll say it again and I'll repeat, uh, as compared to other type of wiring system. So if you are comparing between two types of wiring system, for example, conduit and uh, casing. For conduit, these, uh, for, for conduit, they can be able to withstand uh, uh, weather with high humidity and strong acidic conditions. But for this type of uh, wiring system, the casing and capping, uh, you know, you say these cases and uh, the caps are made of uh, plastic most of the time. And uh, earlier on, they used to be made of uh, wood. 
Therefore, as we all know, wood cannot be subjected to uh, strong acids because they will be they will burn out. Therefore, that's why we are saying this type of wearing system is not suitable for weather with uh, high humidity, also the strong acidic conditions. So that is how you apply that point number two. Number three is that. Uh, our cases can be made of wood. Therefore, this point number three that uh, insects and uh, such as termites and ants they can damage that wood casing and capping because you know the insects they they usually um, they, they the insects most of the time you find them uh, they're trying to mess up with the wood. Therefore, these termites and ants they will make uh, they will interfere with the the, the caps made of wood. And the casing also. Number four, number four, you say is that uh, they are subject to high risk of fire. So just like I usually tell you in class, uh, in engineering, every point can be correct depending on how you explain it. Uh, when you check at uh, point number five, we said uh, because of capping and uh, casing, there's reduced risk of shock and fire. But also at a disadvantage, you know, wood is a good, uh, is a very, it usually fuels, it's a fuel. So therefore, when there is a, uh, there's that case of, uh, of fire, therefore your casing, your cases and caps, they will be, they will be prone to this uh, high risk of fire. That is how you explain that uh, this, uh, the, the, this type of wearing system is uh, subject to high risk of fire because of the, uh, the, the cases made of wood. You know wood uh, usually burn well. So that is the explanation pertaining that point. The next type of wearing system that we can look at is the button and wiring system. So just like in the other cases, we will start with the materials used. So we go to the materials materials used in this type of wearing system, the button. So we can have the brass pins, brass pins, we have the brass pins, tin, brass link clip, uh, you also call them the buckle clip, and then we have the straight tape wooden button. That's, a, that's why it's called a button type of wiring system. And also we have the CTS or TRS cable. What do you mean by that? For TRS, it uh, stands for staff rubber shield. Uh, that's, that is the, 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 the covering of the cable. For the CTS, it's also, it stands for the cab tire shield. The tough rubber sheet for the TRS and also the cab tire sheet for the CTS. So those are the materials that are used. The brass pins, pinned uh, uh, clips, the straight thick wooden button, and also these cables that you have said they can either be CTS or TRS. So how is this wiring done? The procedure. So this type of wiring system is that uh, a group of a single or double, double or three core cables are used 
and uh, they are laid on a straight thick wooden button so you have your cables laid on a on a piece of wood that is what we're calling thick wooden button then these cables are uh, hauled up with the help of the, the buckle clips these are the clips that you usually use in the workshop so you have your cables uh, laid on a wooden button then the cables are, are held with the help of these uh, buckle clips or we're also calling them the tinned uh, brass link clips then the brass pins are used to fix the buckle clips on the wooden button and these buckle clips uh, are fixed with the brass pins on the wooden button at an interval of uh, most of the time the suggested distance between the the pins is the interval of 10 centimeters horizontal and uh, 15 centimeter for the vertical runs so that is how you go about with the button type of wiring system we, then we go to the advantages advantages of this type of wiring system number one is that they are easy to install easy to install because you just need those clips and uh, a button then you have your cables are installed so easy to install number two is that uh, just like uh, the other two that you have come uh, we have come across is that uh, customization can be done because uh, they are not concealed so you can easily customize the installation to suit your preference number three is that uh, there's less chance of uh, current leakage less chance of uh, leakage current number four uh, they are cheap cheap in material cost and see they don't require as many materials as uh, the other type of uh, like such as the conduit wiring system because you just need the buckle clips and the, the, the cables and then you have the, the brass pins so the cost the installation cost is minimized it's, they are cheap to install and then um, the last one that they have better the appearance is better as compared maybe probably the, the clip type of wearing system they have better appearance next we look at the disadvantages advantages of uh, button wearing so first one is that uh, just like uh, the, the casing they are prone to there is high risk of fire. High risk of fire. Number two is that uh, they are not suitable for outdoor wearing. Not suitable for outdoor wearing. So that means that uh, they are recommended. It's recommended uh, that they be um, used for indoor wearing. What do you mean indoor? That is uh, maybe a house or a, a building. You just use them inside and not outside. Then number three is that um, uh, this type of wiring system is prone to is a subject of harsh weather conditions because you can say you just lay your cables that is you say either cts or the trs the cast rubber sheath cables just lay them on the uh, wooden button so they are exposed therefore they are exposed to smoke uh, rain steam humidity etc so they are not uh, as, uh, as effective when it comes to weather as uh, compared as the case for the the casing and capping so 
humidity, smoke, steam, etc. directly affects the wire because they are uh, they are directly exposed to weather. Then the other disadvantage is that, uh, and this is a common disadvantage to all that we have covered so far. Uh, though we did not mention that in when we are talking, when we are dealing with the, uh, when we are dealing with the other type of wiring system, that is the casing and cupping. The, the in this uh, type of uh, wiring system, that is the bad, button is that they are only able to accommodate their single phase installation. You cannot use the uh, high voltages in this type of installation because uh, one, the one is that uh, we have said the wires are, 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 are laid bare open. Therefore, having high voltages, a high voltage cables running through, uh, that will be uh, a recipe for disaster. So they're only used uh, for voltages below 250 or uh, for our case most of the time you find that is 240 single phase so anything above that voltage uh, anything above 240 250 then you cannot use this type of uh, wearing system that is the button wearing system and the last disadvantage that we can talk about is that uh, Heavy wires are not recommended for this type of wiring system. Why is that so? This is because we have said you just uh, you lay your cables on a wooden button. Therefore, if you use heavy wires, then therefore you'll be overloading your button, and that may lead to bugging, or you can have your cables not neatly installed. So those are the disadvantages, the risk of fire. Uh, not suitable for outdoor, therefore they are mainly used in indoor wiring systems. They are uh, subjected to harsh weather conditions because you just lay your cables there open. And you have said you cannot use this type of uh, wiring system for voltages above 250 volts. And also the last one you have said that uh, heavy wires are not recommended in this type of wiring system. I'll give you a minute so that those guys who are taking notes, you can copy those advantages and disadvantages, then we continue to the other type of wiring system.
the next type of wiring system that we are going to discuss is the conduit wiring system. And this is the most common type of wiring system used in modern uh, installation. That is both for electrical and for solar installation. You also cover this with your teacher when you'll be doing the electrical installation. So under conduit wiring, you can categorize them into two, two types of uh, uh, conduit wiring system. So this depends in, with how you lay your conduits. So you can categorize them into two. And the are one is the surface or the concealed conduit wiring. Surface conduit wiring or concealed conduit wiring. So for the surface, you just lay your conduits on the surface of the, that is on the walls. For the conceal, this one, you, you, you need to have them, you have your conduits uh, running inside the walls. So that is the concealed conduit wiring. So we start with the surface. So we said for the surface, uh, this is the, if the conduits installed on roof or the walls, it is known as the, the, the surface conduit wiring. In this wiring method, they make holes on the surface of the wall on equal distance and the conduit installed then with the help of uh, the plugs. Then for the concealed conduit wiring system, just like we said, is that uh, in this, the conduits are hidden inside the wall slots with the help of uh, plastering. So most of the time you find that uh, when you are doing the construction during uh, uh, plastering, then you will have your uh, most of the time, the, if it's a domestic installation, you have your plastic or the PVC conduits uh, installed or uh, laid inside the walls, and then you do your plastering. So as your plastering is uh, finished, then you will have your conduits uh, inside the walls, and then you do your installation later on. So in other words, that uh, electrical wiring system inside the wall, roof, or uh, floor with the help of plastic or the metallic mm -hmm. mm -hmm. is called... Uh, conduit wiring. Alex, you might need to mute your mic or we'll uh, do that for you. Okay, so we continue. Right, that um, we have said uh, you have your, 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 your pipes, that is the conduits, either plastic or metallic, concealed inside the walls and that is the concealed conduit wiring it is the most type uh, is most com common and because it is uh, more popular it is also beautiful and also when you talk of beauty that is an appearance that is an advantage of this type of wiring system and it's, uh, it's also uh, stronger and uh, common in electrical wiring system nowadays uh, in conduit wiring systems Steel tubes known as the conduits are installed on the surface of the wall uh, by the means of uh, the pipe hooks. That is the surface conduit wiring, or they are buried inside the walls under the plaster. And the VIR or the PVC cables are afterwards drawn by the means of uh, using the of a GIA wire or the of the size of about. Uh, a, that depends with the the size of your conduit. So that uh, means uh, the GI, your GI wire is uh, relative depending on the size of your conduits. In the conduit wiring system, these conduits usually, they should be electrically continuous. So these are the things that you do afterwards after you're done your installation. You test for the continuity. So that is, uh, we discuss that later on. So they should be electrically continuous and connected to us at uh, some suitable points in the case of steel conduits. The conduit wiring is a professional way of uh, wiring a building. Most uh, PVC conduits are uh, used in domestic wiring systems and uh, when it comes to the industrial wiring system, then you use uh, the metal conduits. The conduit protects the cables from being damaged by the rodents. And uh, so when you have your rodents uh, biting your wires, then you have you can ha experience the electric short caused by this. 
and that is why the circuit breakers are in place to ensure that when you experience the uh, the short circuits, then you have uh, the circuit breakers, that is the the actors that switch it. So when you have the that current breakage, then your circuit breakers will uh, power off your installation. The lead conduits are used in factories or when the building is uh, prone to fire accidents, and the trunking is uh, is more of like the surface conduit wiring. So trunking, that is the most common type that we, we have been uh, using when it comes to So ensure you, you mute your mic so that you don't interrupt the class like uh, that guy who we have had to kick him out of the class. So ensure your mics are muted. So let us continue saying that um, you have been doing the PVC, uh, the PVC trunking. And this is uh, a, a common type of uh, surface conduit because you see this PVC, they are laid on the surface of the wall. So PVC uh, uh, the, the trunkings are a common type of uh, uh, surface conduits. Uh, so when it, let us talk about the type of conduit that can be used in, in this type of wiring system. Type of conduit. So uh, majorly there are usually two types, the metallic and the non-metallic types of conduits. Metallic and non-metallic. Metallic and non-metallic type of conduits. So for the metallic conduits, this, they are made of steel and they're very strong, but uh, they are also equally extensive and we have uh, the metallic we can categorize them into two two types of metallic conduits we have the class a conduits these are the low gauge conduit and they have uh, the thick steel sheet layer And then we have class B, the high gauge conduits. These are thick conduits. And they say these conduits, most of the, the metallic type of conduits, they are made of uh, steel. Then for the non metallic, So for the non for the non metallic type. metallic type of conduits most of the time they are made of pvc or vinyl chloride that is the the plastic so solid pvc conduit is used in uh, as a metallic conduit nowadays which is uh, flexible and easy to bend we use uh, the spring bend to perform this type of uh, installation we have done this uh, in the workshop the installation of uh, of the P, of the PV, PVC conduits. So the size of the conduits. 
So just like uh, in uh, the metallic, we have different sizes of these. Uh, have different sizes of these uh, plastic conduits. So the common conduit pipes are uh, usually 13, and these are in uh, millimeters, yeah, from 13 all the way to 15.2, 18.7, 5.20, all the way to 63. And also you can have this measured in uh, inches. So those are the PVC conduits. So lastly, we look at the advantages and disadvantages of this type of uh, absorption. Advantages and disadvantages, and this is the most uh, examinable part when it comes to wiring systems, conduit wiring system, because they are the most applicable type of wiring system nowadays. So we start with the with the advantages. One is that it is the safest type of wiring system. It is the safest. Is the safest type of wiring system, especially the concealed conduit wiring. I want to believe even where you live right now, the type of wiring system that has been done there is the concealed conduit wiring system. So that's why I think it is the safest and it is the most common. Advantage number two is the its appearance. So, because they are concealed, then you don't, you don't see the cables running on the, on the surface. So therefore, the appearance is beautiful. So that is advantage number two. You have a beautiful appearance as compared to other types of uh, wiring systems, especially the cleats and the other ones that you have talked thereafter. Number three. That there is no risk of mechanical wear and tear and fire in case of the metallic pipes. So you see your cables or your conductors are protected because you see they are they they run inside the conduit wiring system, and therefore there is no that risk of wear and tear because the the the, the cables are protected. And also when it comes to the uh, in case of fire, when you use metallic conduits then your cables are protected because the fire may not necessarily be able to uh, to interfere with the metallic conduits. Advantage number four is that uh, customization can be easily done according to the future needs. You can customize your installation to suit your needs and this uh, so this one uh, you need to take note is that uh, when we talk of customization for this case of the conduit uh, we, we don't necessarily uh, mean for the concealed conduit because for the concealed conduit if you need to, to customize then you might need to dig in into your wall but uh, for the surface conduit especially for the pvc trunking you can easily customize your installation because if they are plastic you just need to uh, cut a little bit and you have your uh, if you want to add an extra load then you can do that easily because they are on the surface but for the concealed type this point is not valid so instead you 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 categorize this uh, conduit wiring systems into two uh, surface and uh, concealed so for this advantage number four, the customization, this applies for only surface conduits. Number five, that uh, it is easy, repairing and maintenance is easy. And be able to repair and maintain your installation easily. Number six is that, uh, there is no risk of damage 
cables as they are insulated and they are covered by the conduits, especially the metallic conduits. So there is no that risk of damage of the cables. The other advantage is that um, it's safe from corrosion in case of PVC conduit and the risk of fire. So you will not have your uh, cables affected by corrosion, which uh, happens as a result of interference by water. So because they are concealed, inside the conduits, then your uh, conduct conductors are safe from corrosion. Advantage number eight is that they can be used in even in humidity and the chemical effect and smoky area. So this means that uh, this type of installation is not subject to adverse weather conditions. So we have said they can be used where you have high humidity and also we have smoky areas. The other advantage advantage number nine is that uh, there, there is no risk of shock in case of proper earthing and grounding of the metallic pipes. So this is something that uh, we talked about when we were talking about the, the protection. Every metallic uh, object that is there in the uh, installation, it needs to be earthed. So if you earth your metallic conduits well, then that risk of shock is eliminated. For the conduits, we know electricity does not run, you know plastic are not good conductors of electricity, so they, they don't have that risk of uh, shock. Then the next advantage is that they are reliable and they are a popular type of uh, wiring system. The last advantage is that they are sustainable and long-lasting type of wiring system. That means that they can last a year, especially for the metallic concealed. Because once you have your conductors concealed inside the metal, then there is no interferences, there is no that physical interference, and therefore your electrical wiring system may be able to last for a long time. Next, the last part is the disadvantages. Disadvantages of wiring systems. number one is that they are expensive an expensive type of wiring system this is due to pvc and metallic pipes and also additional earthing for the case of the metallic conduits so the one advantage is that they are expensive type of wiring system number two they are very hard to find defects in the wiring in this wiring system what do you mean by that we said, for example, for the clip type of wiring system, it is easy to locate faults. That means that uh, because the cables are laid bare, you can be able to locate a fault when it occurs. But for this one, especially for the concealed, it is not as easy to locate the fault and also to repair. So that is a disadvantage number two. Number three is that uh, in this type of uh, wiring system, uh, the installation is not as easy and simple as compared to others because especially for the concealed type, we said this one starts during plastering and then continues after plastering has been completed. As not, and, and as you can compare with the clip type of wiring system, that one is just, uh, you just use the clip and you have your wiring system running. But for this one, the installation is not easy and it is not simple. The other disadvantage is that um, there's that risk of electrical shock, and uh, that is when uh, talking about the metallic conduits. 
So if you don't uh, add them properly, then they are subjected to uh, that electric shock and that may result to fire. And then the last disadvantage is that uh, they are complicated to manage and also additional connection in future is not easy to install. So those are the major types of wiring systems. We have discussed each of them. I don't know if anybody has a question so far. I see most of you, the others, I don't know if they are internet, internet connection. So in case you have a question, I can give you a minute to either ask or to type it, and then we conclude the class. So you can be told to compare between each of these wiring systems that you have talked about. So when you are comparing between each of them, you will compare about uh, the cost, the possibility of fire as you are seeing, the installation, when talk of installation, is it easy to install or difficult? And we have seen uh, most of them, they are easy to install, like the cleat, the button, they're easy to install. But uh, for the conduit and probably the casing and capping, they are not as easy to install, so that is how you compare. For the inspection, uh, other than the conduit wiring system, the other, the inspection, they are easy because of, most of the time they are on the surface. And also, uh, you can also compare them in terms of their repair and maintainability. How are you able to maintain them? So for the clip, they are easy to maintain. For the casing, they not necessarily easy. For the button, also they're easy. For the conduit, especially for the concealed one, they are difficult to repair and also to maintain. And you can also talk about the possibility of fire. So you say the, most of them, uh, they are not uh, prone to fire. And also protection from the dampness, that is the corrosion and so on. Uh, uh, the conduit wiring, you say they are uh, protected from that dampness for the button they are not uh, cleat they are also not protected and also the casing and capping they are not protected to this so that is how you compare between uh, those type of uh, wiring systems so any question before we conclude So if there is no question, I'll, uh, I'll upload some notes. I've uploaded up to topic four. Make sure you go through those notes in, in a sequential manner because they are inter, interlinked. You cannot access topic four if you have not gone through topic three and uh, two and one. So that is how you access the notes. For the questions, I'll be uploading the questions later on. Until next time, have a good, uh, good day.